Lifting Up Jesus, Opening His Word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. I would say you're confusing Christianity, biblical Christianity, scriptural Christianity, the gospel with religion. Religion is a crutch. It's a placebo. It's a delusion. It has no factual basis that's demonstrably true. While as the claims of Jesus are empirically examinable, there's reasons to believe in the claims of Jesus. There's reasons to believe in the historicity of the resurrection of Christ. There are reasons. Come, let us reason together, says the Lord in Isaiah chapter 118. One of the primary differences between the gospel, that is scriptural Christianity, and religion, is religion is a blind faith. It's a crutch, while the claims of Jesus are intellectually examinable. As we always point out, our faith is not intellectual. It's revelatory. It's not intellectual, but it is intellectually defensible. It is intellectually credible. It's not intellectually credible to believe in the Book of Mormon or the Quran or the Bhagavad Gita. It's not intellectually credible to believe in the Aquarian Bible it's, or the Tibetan Book of the Dead. But it is intellectually credible to believe in the Judeo-Christian scriptures and the gospel of Jesus Christ. His claims are intellectually examinable. They would hold up as evidence in a court if they were presented within a legal format and Books and treaties have been written illustrating and demonstrating that very fact. Um, the realities of prophecy in detail, not simply a matter of how you interpret it post facto like with Nostradamus, but things that are just literally predicted about Christ centuries before he was born that we can prove with archaeology were written before he was born and him fulfilling it. One of the ways I got saved was I applied mathematical probability theorems to Old Testament prophecy fulfilled in Jesus. And in doing that, uh, I realized that the, the same scientific methodology by which you would distinguish between a working hypothesis and a maxim is statistically the same as the evidence based on the fulfillment of prophecy in the New Testament that was written in the Old Testament. The same scientific methodology and standards for establishing the difference between a theory or a working hypothesis and, and something that is not a hypothesis but is a, a, a truism um, is a maxim. Is it's there. It applies to scripture, scientific methodology, the same methodology statistically that you would arrive at the probability of a medical diagnosis. It's there in scripture. That is not true of other religions. So while religion is delusional, while religion is indeed a crutch, you need something to deal with your fear of death, your fear of the unknown, or what you can't explain. That is true. It is a crutch. But do not confuse the gospel of Jesus with religion. It is not a crutch. It is reality. A placebo is a crutch. Religion is a placebo. The gospel of Jesus Christ is a cure. It's a cure for the problem of death and for the problem that causes death, sin. It's not a placebo. The gospel of Jesus is a cure. It is absolute, eternal reality. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you for your question. God bless. Thank you, Jacob.